The following program is produced by the Tech Talk Radio Network. Hey, Bill Nye, the science guy here. Whenever I am listening to the radio, especially Tech Talk Radio, it's just such a party. Welcome to another episode of Tech Talk Radio. I'm Andy Taylor. I'm Sean DeWeer. And I am Justin Lemmy. And we are the show that talks about computers. Technology. And the internet. How you guys doing? Well, it's good to see you all. I mean, it's been a while since we've had the three of well, us. Well, you know, Memorial <laughs> Day and working. And, you know, I was without like cell that. service for almost four days. It was amazing. And yeah, Sean that, going on vacation. Yeah, you told us you were going to be going out, you know, on the road and doing a Memorial Day kind of getaway. How was it? It's good. It's the, where I go every Memorial Day, but it's just we know that there's not cell service there. And it's, it's great. just a good time. <sighs> it's just family cooking over the fire. Uh, I bought a new generator. Which we Wait, you about. cooked your family over a fire? That's just yes, awful. Yes, cooked my family over the fire. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like a horror movie. Um, no, yeah, you, you've posted about that in the past, you know, going out to the, the – it's, it's a lake, right? No, it's just national – it's a state or forest just, property. Oh, it's a state Michigan. forest. It's okay, yeah. Where my – where we, we did the math this past weekend because we were just talking about it because a lot of the film footage that I captured of my grandfather's – was of this location. So we just kind of thought about when it was just over 70 years. My family's been camping in the same spot. Wow. And one of, one of the things my uncle showed me that I didn't know about in the 35 years I've been alive is that when my grandfather, the original camper they had on this property, when they went back there, when it, when it finally just kind of got too old to operate, he took the wheels off of the rims, the, the rubber wheels, right. and placed one over a small pine tree. And you can walk back and still see this tree, and it's almost completely outgrown the tire. Oh, that is so cool. That is so, really neat. There you go. Uh, it's just kind of one of those things that's like it just shows how long my family's been camping in this one spot, and it's just it's just awesome. That so. reminds me of a picture I once on the internet where somebody had chained a bike to a tree, and mm. they went back years later, and it had grown into the tree, or the tree had grown around the bike. That's actually pretty neat. I like that. Yeah, lo- Nature will find a way. Exactly. Yes, of course. Um, now, uh, you know, I'm of- just wondering, though. Okay, so for all of us that are addicted to our smartphones and our tablets, when you go somewhere and you don't get cell service, do you just put the phone away or are you like me? I would be looking at it every hour. Like, do I get no, service it, yet? It stays in my, it's usually in the camper. Right. But you don't, you don't have there's, it in your hand the whole time. There's no point. I mean, I could take pictures with it and stuff, but oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, to be yeah. honest, the, to be honest, since I stopped doing Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff, I don't take as many pictures with my phone anymore yeah. because I'm not posting them to social media. I'll take pictures with my nice cameras, my Nikon, mm-hmm. right. and ed- edit those and, and k- keep those. But when we travel and go places where we know we're not going to have service, we're very conscious of being away from technology. Right, right. Uh, and it's been it's been great for both me and Caitlin to for just – it's crazy how much more you communicate with people when people don't have devices in their hands. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you get more, more battery life as well because you're not using those apps. Did you completely remove them from your smartphone? Like the, oh, yeah. The, the... I, the, only, the only social media I have left on my phone is Reddit. I know that's a big one for some people, but that's a lot of the subreddits I subscribe to are news related mm-hmm. or my interests. And I, I really wanted to keep some of that because otherwise I, where am I going to get my news from the newspaper? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> All those are online. You yeah. know, I, th- I think a lot of people don't know how to use Reddit and, and, and let's face it. There's, there's some of our older listeners that have number one, never experienced Reddit and don't know that you can go on and find some really great stuff on there. The, the thing you've got to know about Reddit is if you go to reddit.com, which is spelled R E D D I T.com, you, you, will be presented with the homepage and it's not customized to you. It's all of the default reddits and mm-hmm. a lot of those can be really toxic. Well, yeah. And it's really bad. However, if you sign up for a free account, you just register with your email address and whatever. Um you can then start searching for things that you might interest you. Like for instance, uh, a couple of mine are just like, for instance, um, the Colorado Avalanche mm-hmm. has a a subreddit, or the Colorado Rockies, or the Denver Broncos, right. or 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 even more interesting things like three D printing, 
or or technology. Now, technology is kind of one of the main subreddits because it's kind of a broad category. Right. Um, I can even find things that are very uh, very similar to the, the 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 what we do, Sean, you and I, where we can talk about TV transmitters or things like that. I mean, you can you can really drill down into these subreddits, which are kind of like forums. That's really where you get the meat of it, right? Really, yeah. it is. And then, and then, but yes, but there are also some things that you can kind of go down the rabbit hole, and you can find some things that are questionable, uh, or you know, things that might be like, "Hey, maybe I shouldn't be letting my wife yeah. see that I'm watching this," or something like that. You know, <laughs> like, I mean, there's 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 different categories. Yeah, on I had it. I mean, to bring up the red light district. <laughs> well, no, and I'm not talking about that. I mean, there's other things too that are even maybe just even things that you shouldn't be looking at while you're at work. Yeah. Uh, things like that. And I'm not talking about adult categories. I'm just talking about in general. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff on Reddit, but you have to sign up for an account for free. And then you just tailor your Reddit experience to what yeah, you, you like. You subscribe to the subreddits and yeah. you can unsubscribe from the ones you don't want. So you, I, yeah. I really like it because I've really gone in and custom tailored mine. Mm -hmm. So I know that I'm going to get the ones that I want. Now, if I'm bored and I want to look at the other ones, there's the home page, which shows you the front page, which is the most popular post of the time of all Reddit. Right, for right. The, for the time you're looking at it. Now, you can also sort your your subreddit feed based on time, popularity, all this stuff, and see things that are more prominent to your interests without the rest of the stuff that's on Reddit. Sometimes you can actually go to the home page, and, I, and, and it's, I'm glad you brought that up. You can go to the home page. And just kind of browse through. And that's where, personally, I've actually found a lot of the subreddits that I like yeah. because I wasn't even aware that they were a subreddit. And all of a sudden, they have a post that has reached the front page, mm -hmm. which Reddit likes to call it the front page of the Internet because a lot of things that you find on other websites, whether it just be you know Facebook or Twitter or even just you know fake I don't want to say that term, but like fake news sites that try to make it into a news story, like mm -hmm. memes or whatever. Yeah. They all start on Reddit, but on the homepage. Yeah. You can find some interesting categories. You're like, Oh, I didn't even know there was a subreddit for Ford Explorers. Yeah. I have a Ford Explorer. I'll subscribe to that. You know, we've got, well, we've got a lot of uh, like uh, ranches, old ranches here in Southern Arizona. So if somebody is into the history of a ranch and, and that whole bit, they could actually probably find a subreddit based on that, where somebody has created one. Oh, absolutely. One. That, oh, I love absolutely. It. Yeah, that is, uh, that is super cool. And again, that's R-E-D-D-I-T dot com. Doesn't cost anything to become a member of uh, Reddit. No, but not they, at all. They do take no, donations. but, but they, they? Will serve, they will serve you ads. Right. Sure. Yeah. Um, but uh, the I'm going to plug the app that I use for Reddit called Apollo. It's made by a single developer. And he doesn't serve ads on his platform. And you pay, you could pay, I think it's like four ninety nine for a year subscription, or not a year, but a lifetime subscription. And it's by far the hands down the best app you can get for Reddit. Well, cool. I, I think our listeners should check it out. Um, so if we wanted to have our own Reddit, we could. I think there, actually there, I may have set it up. There actually <laughs> is a um, a Reddit a subreddit called Ranching. Really? So there you go. Yep, it's got five point five thousand members. Wow. Uh, yeah, and then there's uh there's um mm, never mind. <laughs> there's, there's some other ones. Another subreddit you found. There's some other ones Great. that yeah, let's not talk about those. Oh boy, not good. There's always a dark side to and, that. And the thing about Reddit is is it's based on community polls. Mm -hmm. So when you go to uh, when you have a a post, you want to post it. People will vote on it. Vote up or down, like positive or negative. Right. If enough positive votes come in, your post gets more views and then people start to comment. Same thing goes for comments. So if you make a comment on a post and enough people like what you have to say, your uh, post or your comment gets what they call karma. Right. Uh, it's just a Reddit term, but you get your post or your comment viewed more often. And then if you really, really like what somebody has to say or what they posted, you can actually pay real money. And this is how Reddit makes money. Be, be, you know, not, uh, Notwithstanding ads, but um, you can also pay to give somebody gold, what they call Reddit gold, and that unlocks a few new features for Reddit users. Uh, so it's, it's it's interesting. I've been a redditor for, gosh, probably going on. Well, 
Justin, you got me into Reddit. I yeah. didn't know what Reddit was until I moved out to San Diego. So yeah. I, you've been at least a Redditor like since 2009? at least early 2011. So. Yeah, oh, wow. I was like 2009, I think I got into Reddit. Yeah, 2009, 2010, something like that. So yeah, it's it's been a while. And the, the other thing is, is it is a little bit of anonymous. So you create a username, mm -hmm. and you don't have to tie it to anything personal. Like nobody will be able to see your email address or your phone number or anything like that. I mean, well, maybe the admins would, but they're not going to do anything with that, hopefully. But uh, you can create the most random new username, and that way you can kind of become one of those what they call that keyboard warriors. Oh, where you boy. can just you I mean well I mean you can you can just be that guy on the internet that's like everybody's like wait bro why are you acting like this if you really want to you can and nobody can say oh that's my neighbor joe mm -hmm. you know like yeah. they don't yeah. know um you know I don't see a lot of tweets from people that tweet reddit links is it harder to do or they kind of don't want you to do that I mean I, I I'm on twitter a lot and I'm, you know usually when I'm scrolling I don't really see that reddit doesn't host a lot of their stuff. I mean, they, they do, but a lot of times it's links to other things. A lot of times it's links to Imager. Imager is a website that was actually created by a Redditor to find a nice, easy way to host images or m GIFs or memes, right, memes or, yeah. or even short little video clips. Um, so Imager was created for Reddit. So when people link things, they usually just link the actual... Image itself, yeah. Link or they'll, but sometimes they'll link the post. But yeah, you usually don't see a lot of that. Well, so what if you know a lot of us been working on different things and finding different things? You guys are pretty excited. I know Justin, you are because uh, some announcements coming out with the, the Nintendo Switch, which I still want to get my hands on one. They were so Dude, they're hard to literally get. Literally in Target right now, but they were so hard to get last year. Remember, well, every, oh, yeah, everybody well, yeah. wanted one at the start of the pandemic. They were like, okay, well, we want to get the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Did you end up getting one, Sean? Uh, I got one back in 2016, so I've had one for a little while. Right. But yeah, I got mine in 2017. I remember it, like there was a run on them. You couldn't get them. And yep. I remember that's at the time where I thought, oh, I, I want to get it. And I, I never have. But now I'm like, I keep thinking, maybe I should get a Switch. Well, I would just say, wait for the Switch Pro. All right, that's... That's always good to hear. That means more money. <laughs> well, not necessarily. Well, yes. I mean, yes. Okay. So first off, right now you just have what? Nintendo Switch, right? Oh, no, no. Um, what's you the have other the Switch Lite. Lite. Switch yeah. Lite. Switch Lite. The difference is uh, the Switch Lite does not have removable uh, Joy-Cons, the controllers, whereas the Switch has removable controllers that you can then, you know, hand off to a person and, be like, hey, play with me a little bit here, and you got two controllers. Uh, but they just didn't, well, not just. They, they've been rumoring the Switch Pro for quite a while, and Nintendo is historically not good with keeping secrets. Um, they try to do it, but it's really, really bad. But they were talking a couple weeks ago about uh, the, le the latest leaks said that Nintendo was going to talk about something during E3, which is happening here in, in in a in like a week or so. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, they were going to talk about the Switch Pro, which, by the way, the Switch Pro is going to have a little bit more ergonomic controllers, a larger screen. They're going to do uh, 4K gaming on the dock. So if you dock your Switch to your main TV, uh, then you'll get 4K gaming versus having it uh i think the max sean help me out here what was the max on the switch on a tv was it 720 10, or 1080 10, 1080p okay docked 720p so, or even handheld. 480p handheld depending on the game so now with the switch pro it's going to be 1080p handheld and then 4k docked with a larger screen better controllers and uh longer battery life and, and they're even saying it's going to have an OLED screen, which will reduce the battery, which will reduce battery, well, increase battery life. Increase battery life, yes. Um, so they were talking about releasing this in the fall, which is normally when a console maker makes their move. They well, yeah, you want it like towards the end of October, so it could be on Christmas list, right? I mean, exactly. Yeah. But Nintendo is Nintendo, mm -hmm. and they're different, and I like that. Just as of an hour ago, as of the recording of this show. Right. They have now 
figured out a new leak that says that there is a screenshot from the retailers, from a retailer's internal system for a piece of Nintendo hardware set to go live at midnight on June 4th, 2021. Which means when this show airs, there may be a Nintendo Switch Pro on the market. Now, would that be something... That would just be the announcement. It wouldn't be something they'd have on the shelves, right? No. They're saying they're going to talk about it on June 3rd and release it on June 4th. Oh, wow. Which is, again, that's very Nintendo-ish. So have you thought about going to, like, Target and saying, hey, what do you know? (laughs) You could talk to a clerk there. I kind of wish we had a contact at, like, Target or Walmart where I could be like, yo, fill us in. (laughs) Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be awesome. Yes, it would. Sean, are you going to get one of the Switch Pro? Because, I mean, you and I both got a Switch. Are you going to get a Switch Pro? Because I think I am, and I'm going to give my Switch to Eric, and then I'll have the Switch Pro for myself. Ah, I see. Um, I think if Caitlin was more interested in video gaming, I would be interested in getting another one. But, I mean, I could always sell mine. But I don't honestly play it as much as I thought I would. I play a couple of the titles and then I wait for the next game that I want to come out. But yeah, how, how it is, is it is it is great to yeah. be able to have it and travel with it. Well, here sell it to Andy. Yeah, I don't have one, so I might be interested in buying it. I mean, how is it though? Like, because you know me, I never have time to do anything. I keep saying we're going to get on the PC. I pay <laughs> I pay for a subscription, you know, through Microsoft, so I could play the the PC games on my computer. And I know they've been putting out all kinds of great games. But I haven't. Is this something like in my downtime? Because I play Toon Blast on my phone. Andy and I... Taylor, last online 487 <laughs> days ago. <laughs> That's what it would be. I mean, would I have a good time with it? Yeah, I mean, you just have to find. You have to find if there's a, is, if there's content that you want to play like that's or you're interested in like if you're interested in zelda you obviously have to continue getting a nintendo product breath of the wild was amazing yes uh, breath oh, okay. of the wild 2 i'm hoping we hear something about it at e3 the new mario 3d game is amazing eric is eric is really? beat eric has almost beat that game on his own now, yeah, you, it's it's by far my favorite Mario platformer right now. Now, when you yeah. say three three D game, what, what, that's not three D. You have to wear goggles. This is a no, game you play, but it's no, it's a three D environment. So it's right. not think, a side think scroller. About, yeah, it's not like a side scroller. Think about the old Mario. It's a side scroller, right? Mm-hmm. This is not. It's it's a three D. You can rotate the the view of the camera, and it's oh wow. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it's so Which much. Which actually fun. makes it way harder because you have to actually control where you're trying to jump on the Goombas and the Koopas yeah. and all this stuff, but. The Goombas uh, and the Koopas. Been, <laughs> it's been a lot of fun to play. It's not like and a Chicago gangster. The Goombas, Goombas and the Koopas. And the Koopas. Um, no, but it's been a lot of fun to play, and it's not easy. Some of the levels no, are it's hard, not. and I a- like every... that because I want a challenging game, right? And the games, to me, have gotten easier. Well, they're trying to bring in a wider audience. They want more people to be uh, more susceptible to be able to play it. They don't want to bring games in there. They don't want to do the games like, what was that, uh, Dark Souls or whatever, where you basically get one life, and if you die, you die. Like, (laughs) they're not going to do that kind of stuff anymore. No. They want you to keep playing. Yeah, exactly. But honestly, Andy, the Switch is great because not only can you play all the new titles on the Switch, you can now also subscribe to Nintendo Online, which is actually really cheap it's 20 bucks a year for a year get, oh, for wow. a year and you get access to a ton of original nintendo entertainment system games super nintendo entertainment system games oh. and i'm hoping eventually nintendo 64 games oh uh, one can only hope yeah I now what were some, love, what are some i would love 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 to play some goldeneye online oh my gosh don't even get me started which on game GoldenEye. which game goldeneye. GoldenEye. goldeneye that's the james bond one yes they say, oh, they yeah. say it was like the best game yes. like of all time of all time yeah. of all time it and was, it was a dev- revolutionary game for fps yes and it, and, and, it, and it was revolutionary for a multiplayer nobody had ever done multiplayer on that scale be- before and right, right the best part about it was that the the developers didn't even tell nintendo that they were going to do multiplayer. They just kind of showed up and said, here you go. And Nintendo's like, wait, what is this? And they're like, that's ah, multiplayer. Like, it was great. And it, and the best, even the better part about it was the people that developed GoldenEye was four people. And that's it? only one of them had game experience. Wow. And, and you know, the, I think the game was more popular than the movie. You oh, know, absolutely. Pierce Brosnan. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, wasn't that, was that Pierce Brosnan or, or yeah. 
Yeah, it was, it was Pierce, Pierce Brosnan, Brosnan. And, and Sean Bean. Sean Bean, yeah, Sean he, Bean, he played yeah. 006, and of course, he dies right? in the movie like he does in every movie he's in. Yeah, it doesn't he get uh, like squashed by a satellite or something or a dish? Well, he yep. falls off the, the satellite. Yeah, the, which the by the way, the movie, yeah, that that satellite recently collapsed in real life. No, yep. you're kidding. It, that, that no, Arecibo was is gone. It's completely destroyed. It collapsed one morning. It just literally all the supports <laughs> gave way, and the whole thing just went co- collapsing. No, they they had in pe- it was not sudden it was impending they knew but it was it gonna was, happen it was not sudden but there is if, you, if people are interested about aerocebo and space and all that stuff go look it up go search for it because they actually have drone footage of the guy wires snapping and the main centerpiece collapsing into the the, the dish itself which with, is pretty much what happened in the movie with sean yeah. bean attached to it <laughs> yeah Hey, Sean, yeah. we got a new role yeah. for you. Yeah. <laughs> How's that going to work out? Let's go live this in real life. <laughs> Has there been anything dynamic when it comes to gaming for any platform? What, what, what has been like the big game like in the last probably three, four weeks? I know that they're talking about a new Battlefield that is being announced next week. Yep. That people are saying, okay, cool. But uh, are people tired of that? Uh, No. No? No. I mean, no. every time there's, there's a new call. Forever, uh, the- Battlefield 4 came out. We're waiting for the next Battlefield. Yeah, right, right. no, it, everything is. We'll wait for it. I mean, so you got Call of Duty, right? Call of Duty basically releases a new game every single year and or every other year. And it's pretty much the same game going forward. But yeah. Battlefield releases a new game every, what, five years, Sean? Yeah, it's every three to five years, depending on the market. But. And they make drastic changes. Battlefield is great. I'm really looking forward to that. I actually just picked up the new Elite Dangerous All right. uh, expansion. Now, and what? how does that work? Which which game does that plug into? So Elite Dangerous is a space simulator. Okay. Um, I have not actually tried it yet. To be honest, right? Because well, first off, I gotta reset back up my Hodus system, my 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 big uh, X fifty five oh, yeah. Rhino. Oh. you know the huge uh, huge right. joystick over here. I have to remap all of those buttons, and I just I haven't had time to be right. honest. I haven't had time to do it. But this expansion spo- supposedly is supposed to allow you to land on planets and actually get out of your ship and walk on the planets. So that's kind of cool. There is one I've been wanting to play. Because I've got the joystick, throttle, the whole bit. I went and did it, with, and I thought I'd, I'd enjoy Flight Sim. It was okay. I mean, it was the graphics are amazing. I know that they've put out a new, like a new Flight Sim now. If you're getting it for the first time, instead of it being 178 gigabytes, it's something like maybe 80 gigabytes now. So they've kind of they scaled did it down some of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's a Star Wars Flight Sim that came out, what? and I never. Yeah, some Star Wars Flight Sim. That you fly an X-wing and a squad. It's called Squadrons. Now, is that any good? Was that be, oh, worth it? it, it that one? Yes, completely worth it. Absolutely amazing in VR. Oh wow! I because think I have Squadrons for the Xbox. I I did buy the triple pack. I got three Star Wars games. Yeah, but Star Wars Squadrons was is incredible in VR. It's great if you don't have VR too, but. If you really, really want to be immersed in play, it's really great on, on VR. Oh, I'm going to have to. Uh, now, is that available on the Microsoft platform for the uh, PC? Do you know? I don't I don't know if it's on Game Pass, but you might be able to get it in Steam. Probably Steam. not. Maybe um, on Steam. But game. do you even have, do you even have, it, it, do either of you have VR? I forgot. I don't. Uh, I don't, but I I've know. had okay. friends that have brought it over because they were really excited about it. You're so. the yeah. VR champion. Of the, of the yeah, I, I've got VR. Yeah. Yep. You like that one. All right, mm-hmm. so we'll have to keep an eye out for Nintendo Switch Pro. If it does get announced, how fast are you going to go out and get it? Uh, Like tomorrow. Really? So you would pick it up on Saturday, today? Yep. Yeah, when the show airs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> how much is it going to be? Probably about 400 Oh, so about I, this. I, I say it's going to be 399 Wow. So 400 yeah, I, I know, but I'm just yeah, agreeing. okay, okay. <laughs> he's gonna undercut me by a buck. <laughs> he's like, no, it's three ninety nine ninety nine. Okay. And have you ever seen? Have you ever seen a game developer put it out at an even number? No. No, so they, but I just, I'm just. Nobody likes the ninety nine ninety nine stuff. They just, you know, it's four hundred. Just four hundred. <laughs> just four hundred. Even if it's ninety five ninety nine, you'll do it's, it. It's still four hundred. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a quick break. We come back. We'll have more of Tech Talk Radio. Uh, new products, new announcements. I got something that is so untechnical but yet so cool that I will share with you coming up. I'm Andy Taylor. 
I'm Sean DeWeer. And I'm Justin Lemmy. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash tech talkers. We'll be right back. And now back to Tech Talk Radio. Hi, this is Adrienne Barbeau. You're listening to Tech Talk Radio and you're going to learn a lot. Welcome back to Tech Talk Radio. I'm Sean DeWeer. I'm Andy Taylor. And I'm Justin Lemmy. So when it comes to this show, it seems like every month we do a wise update. Like, what is new from Wise? Now, for everything the, is new. Now, for everything, the, for every the day. Listeners who don't know, Wise is this company, and we have talked about this. They're not a company that we're sending all our money overseas. They're on a big uh, hiring binge right now. They're selling cheap, quality products that are com- are competing with. Well, no, some wait. Of the you should, I just you should, wait. Hold on. You should rephrase that. They're selling cheap. High quality products because it sounds like cheap quality. This is no good. Their stuff is really good. No, yeah, cheap, high quality too. I mean, but you understand what I meant. Yeah. But it's they're competing with some of the top vendors in the world. I don't understand how they're doing it. Yeah. I don't either. But all of the products that I've bought from them have been amazing. Yeah. So wise w w y z e is how you spell. It. Uh, you can go to wise dot com w y z e dot com. They started right, Sean, with the uh, the Wise Cam. That was like their first product, right? Yeah, so, so it, they actually, yeah, it was the Wise Cam version one, and then they announced the Wise Cam Pan and Tilt. Yeah, right? it was a it was a little a little slimmer one, but you could actually from the app move the camera a little bit to see mm-hmm. around the room. And those were the only two products they had for a while, and then it just absolutely blew up. Yeah, they then they came out with the Wise Cam V two. The Wise Cam V3. Yeah, they had they had some sensors. They have some uh, some smart outdoor plugs, cameras, some smart light bulbs. doorbell yeah, cameras, just... doorbell right. cameras. Now, what's the latest? Well, as of the recording of the showing, they just announced on the day we recorded the show a vacuum. A vacuum. A, wire, a, wi- a wireless. It's like a think Dyson. Battery vacuum. Like think it Dyson. Looks, it looks just like a Dyson. Wait, not like a, a handheld, you know, uh, mm. zapper. Nope. Like you know when you're you're sitting there watching TV and you're eating cheese, the dust cheese and buster? crackers, and you hit you get all the crumbs on you. you hit no, the dust I don't buster know. And I don't, you get the crumbs off that I don't, way. I don't know how what you're talking uh, no. about. There. They, I don't, they do never had that happen a, to me. They do have a small portable vacuum. They've already sold. Oh, that'll work. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. Well, yeah. They, so they, they already, don't they they already have, their, have one of those. So. Don't they already have their robotic vacuum too? Like, they also have like the a Roomba? Roomba competitor. Yeah. So they have a Roomba competitor. They have a Dyson competitor. They've got. Uh, wise cameras. They've got a, a Nest a thermostat, a thermostat Nest competitor, or thermostat, or I mean a Nest a doorbell competitor. They've uh, got a smart scale. They've got a Fitbit competitor. They've got a smart a forty seven millimeter watch, smart watch. They've got already got noise canceling headphones. So and uh, the most, geez, the, have they launched this stuff like in the last year? A lot of this stuff. I mean, this is all uh, been really yeah. rapid, right? And yes, been I mean, a, a year. Before, right, right after COVID hit and everything got shut down, Wise released a thing saying, we've got a lot of stuff to announce over the next year and a half. Ooh, and boy, were they not about, joking around. I mm-hmm. forgot about that. Mm-hmm. But I just how do they keep up with all of the marketing? That's right. what well, I don't understand. Well, tell, tell us about this vacuum cleaner. Because you're, you're going to get one, right? It's no, like, we, tw- no, because just like me and Justin... We both We've, have the Dyson because yeah. the Dyson is amazing. <laughs> and the Dyson and it was, cost it was me like worth 400 the money. And, 450. It was worth the money. Yeah, it was yeah, worth it the was, money to have it. It's like and 450 I love it, bucks. And it's great. But Ooh. I would buy this if I didn't have a vacuum. I right. think I might just buy it just because it's $120. It's a fourth of the cost of a Dyson. And it's got 25,000 Pascal of suction power, which is what equivalent to a Dyson, right? Isn't it? It's equivalent. I'd have to look, but yeah. yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's pretty close. Wow. But yeah, over over the last, t- I don't know, two months, the 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 earbuds that I got, I pre-ordered the Wise Earbud Pros because I've been looking for earbuds. We've talked about it before on the show. I didn't want to buy the i the AirPods because I just didn't care for them. Right. So then these came along and they were only fifty four dollars. Justin just told us today he bought the Jabras. So Jabra. Uh, I guess I, I kind of forgot about this company. They're really well known for making headsets. Like when you think about like when you call a call center, right? Or, or you, you know, tech support, you know, the person sitting behind the desk wearing a, a headset talking to you, right? A lot of times those are either Panasonic or Jabra. Mm-hmm. And thinking back to my days working at America Online, which was a long time ago, um, 
I'm pretty sure I had a Jabra headset. Right. Um, but yeah, so I bought these new Jabra Elite 85T and they're wireless earbuds. So what, like Sean was saying about the AirPods, right? Everybody's got the AirPods, mm -hmm. right? I, I, yeah. I just don't, I don't like Apple. I don't want to talk about Apple. So um, I looked up some other comp competitors and I found two that I was deciding upon. Either the Sony, there's mm -hmm. a, I can't remember the model name off the top of my head, but it was a Sony heads, uh, earbuds were rated like the best of the best right. uh, in terms of the sound quality, the ear fit. But the problem with the Sonys was that they had some, some, some sort of Bluetooth connectivity issues, uh, which could be fixed with a future firmware update, I'm sure. But um, I kind of started leaning towards the Jabras because the sound quality, they said, was just almost on par with the Sonys. They actually had... Uh, the same drivers uh, in terms of the speakers inside, mm -hmm. but the Jabbers had six microphones instead of four microphones. So you had more of a, a sound pickup. Um, when you're on a phone call, two of the microphones will be dedicated towards noise cancellation, whereas the other four would be then for the phone call versus if you're listening to music, all six microphones would be used for active noise cancellation. So anyway, Long story short, these things were $229 on Best Buy. Right. And also on Amazon. But I have an American Express card, and I have a perk. One of the perks of being an American Express member was there was this uh, uh, feature. It's a limited time feature where you basically spend $50 or more at Best Buy, get $50 back. So it's, Whoa, it's really? basically it's a free $50 bucks being, a, being an American Express member. So I went to Best Buy. And I ordered the Jabra 80, Elite 85T, and I ended up out of pocket was $180. Here's the best part. I got them five hours later. Isn't that amazing? It's so bizarre. Because brick-and-mortar stores have to compete with Amazon. Yeah. And how are they going to do that? By offering same-day delivery. So, Sean, what is the service that I, I mentioned earlier that the one that delivered my product is they also deliver stuff for you too? Yeah, so it's called Shipped. Okay, Shipped. It's like a courier, right? Like yeah, a courier they, service. They started, they started with doing uh, grocery deliveries. And mm -hmm. I think they've expanded now to other retailers. But they were one of the. Shipped. I don't, yeah. I don't think they started here in Michigan. I'll look it up, but they. Meyer is a grocery chain here that started in Michigan. It's, in the, it's pretty much in Michigan, Indiana, Ohio. Uh, but so they how, how partnered it, with Ship to do grocery delivery. So how does this work then? So you just go online and then they contract shipped, or you yep. pay a little extra for that? No, no, they contract it. So um, I just placed the order online. It said free delivery today if you order within you know two hours or whatever. And I'm like, okay. So I ordered it, mm -hmm. and then I kept checking the order status, and it kept saying, uh, get, you know, getting ready, getting ready. And then funny anecdote to this uh that same night that i ordered these uh my wife and myself and my mom who was visiting we were actually going to go to a restaurant that was located literally next door to the best buy right that i ordered these from <laughs> i was thinking shoot i could have just done in-store pickup yeah but instead i decided to do the shipping but anyway the lady contacted me this lady named Catherine from shipped texted me and said hey I just picked up your order from Best Buy. I'm on your way to your house. Wow. I said, I said, oh wow, thanks. Can you put it in the uh, the milk cooler box on the porch? You know where we get our milk deliveries. Yes, we do have milkmen in Denver, <laughs> um, and it is the best milk I've ever had in my life. That's awesome. Longmont Dairy Farms. Yeah. Check them out. Um, anyway, um, yeah. So we, uh, she said, yeah, sure, no problem. So I saw her on my Nest camera uh, coming up to the door. She opened up the thing, put it right in the milk carton, walked away, waved at the camera, and walked away. I had my earbuds five hours after I ordered them. You know, there are a lot of people listening that won't do that. Number one, okay, so I understand we want to support, you know, shopping local. We want to support yeah, but Best Mom Buy's and Pops. not really shopping local. Well, but we do want to do that, you know, and, and that's just a good, good practice. However, it is super convenient if you ever have to do it and get something delivered the same day. I still don't know how they did it. I've done it before. Uh, with a keyboard that I bought, and it was there within four hours. And I thought, it's just amazing. Can, I didn't have to drive across town to pick it up. I got it delivered right to the house. Can we just take a moment, though, to talk about what you just mentioned? All about right. 
supporting mom and pop shops. All right. Right. Cool. It, I got no problem with that. I love, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. I really do. However, I just don't see a feasible way to do it. And that's my problem. Because if I want to go to a local mom and pop store, let's say I want to get these exact headphones for $229 that I can find on Amazon or Best Buy or whatever, this store is going to have to sell them at a markup because they can't compete with Amazon. So why? Why would I go and spend $280 or let's say mm -hmm. at a mom and pop store versus $229 on Amazon or a buck eighty? on Best Buy with my credit card and get same day delivery. Like, I just don't understand how mom and pop stores can survive. And I really, I hate to see that, but I think that's kind of the times we're living in now. I still think we should try. I still think, you know, for there, there are small computer shops that are trying to stay afloat, uh, that sell motherboards, that sell processors, that sell memory. I still think we, we should try. And I've been in that position though. I have been in that position where I've needed something and you know, SWS is closed on a Sunday, and that's unfortunate Are for me. Are they still in business? Yep, they're still, oh, they're still interesting. kicking. Okay. But they're, they'll be closed on a Sunday, and I'm stuck. So do I wait till Monday? But no, I need it because I'm building, doing a build on that Sunday, and they can deliver, you know, that same day or the next yeah. day if it's Saturday night. Um, so then you're, you're kind of forced to it because it is convenient, and it means you can get the job done. So sometimes, sometimes you have to, but I think... <laughs> We could always try if we can to do that. Sean, do you have any like mom and pop stores that you will visit over the big box guys? Not particularly. See, it's hard. It's hard. It's, it's hard it to hard. think about it. Electronic I mean, stores. Where I where I grew up and where my family grows up, it's you almost have to do mom and pop stores because some yeah. some of the places it's you can't you can't they can't guarantee two day delivery or they can't guarantee three day delivery in some places, right? Um, because it still goes through UPS or it goes through the postal service, that type of stuff. But, um, I, when I travel, I like to support mom and pop stores cause I like to get back into the culture, like immerse myself in the co local culture of the mom sure. and pop store. Yeah, absolutely. The, the local grocery store. Absolutely. But, um, when I did live in Grand Rapids, I did shop at a local grocery store because they had the best butcher in town. That's where we always got there our meat. There you go. Yeah. But local places are good but you will pay a little bit more for that friendly service or for because of the markup, or they might have that one specialty thing that you can only get online. So you might be able to get it there or whatever. But what, um, when it, in when some, it, well, some of these, some of these mom and pops too, you gotta remember they're hiring local people, which is good. Yeah. They're also putting money back into the economy. Yeah. So yeah, you might be paying a few bucks more, but again, it all comes down to what you need. Like try and get a power supply. It used to be, you tried to get a power supply. If you're a local mom and pop shop that carried that, like SWS, or we even got we have a computer store here in Green Valley, they didn't have it. You you were out of luck. Yeah. And now you can order online. And Best Buy, you know, the big box store has gone out of their way to now carry power supplies, yeah. motherboards, <laughs> processors, video cards. They carry everything to build a computer now. I want to mention specifically Best Buy there. So there's a YouTube channel that I like to watch. He's a, it's called the company man. Mm -hmm. Now what he does is he literally just analyzes companies and he analyzes the rise and falls and sometimes the rise again of certain companes. And <laughs> like we're still are... waiting for Comp USA to come back. <laughs> yeah. I doubt that one. Uh, but he did talk about Best Buy, yeah. how they pivoted. I mean, Best Buy was almost on the verge of bankruptcy. After Amazon became big. And now they're kind of a big player again. Yeah. Like you can just go and order stuff from Best Buy, get curbside pickup, in-store pickup, free get delivery. Store whatever. credit. Store credit. Get it with your, your purchases. Yeah. Yeah. And so, I mean, I'm I'm a Best Buy uh, fan again. I mean, I really honestly kind of wrote them off. I'm like, oh, well, there goes Best Buy. That's another Comp USA. You know, but Best Buy is, is kicking. They got rid of their CD part because the cds and, and and music section was such a huge footprint in their stores yeah and now it's mostly that's all gone and mostly cell phones uh video game systems high-end tvs you know well not necessarily just high-end tv they've got other stuff but they got these sections in the stores high-end tvs high-end audio high-end home appliances but then surrounding that is all the regular uh, appliances or regular home audio or whatever. Yeah. So it's an interesting place to go into. If you haven't been into a Best Buy recently, I'd say go give it a look. We've also talked about Home Depot 
even at Lowe's and Home Depot, yep. are carrying electronics now yep. for your home, which you would smart never homes. see before they're in there because it's smart homes. They, don't, they need to reach that person who's coming in going, I need to put up a new lamp, and then suddenly goes, oh, I've always wanted to automate my home, or I've always mm-hmm. wanted to add this. So it, it's, up to, it's up to the mom-and-pop stores to expand. Uh, sometimes it can be costly to carry that inventory. I mean, when you look at what happened to Fry's Electronics, Fry's was in a situation, from what I understand, that they bought they bought their product on consignment. Yes. So so they they said to Logitech, "Hey, send me all your you know." We talked about uh, our earbuds. You know, I had the J the the Jaybirds, which were made by Logitech. You sent it to us. If we sell it, you get paid. If we don't sell it, then it's just going to sit there, and you, we'll send it back after a certain amount of time, and no money is exchanged. They were doing that, and it just wasn't working. For the re- for the manufacturers who said, well, we want to provide you product, but you got to pay us. Yeah, we we need to get paid too because they got to, they got people to employ. Speaking of the company man, he does an entire segment on Fry's Electronics about the rise and fall of Fry's Electronics. So yeah, if you're on YouTube, check out the company man. It was I saw that episode and it brought back nostalgia from yeah. living in Arizona and also so, in San Diego. So if any of these. Best buys that are still around that want to get my business. Right. What do they need to do? Sell circuit level components. Oh, yeah. Radio let Shack. Me come, let me. I, right. there is, no, they're making yeah. a comeback. They're making a comeback. They're never going to go storefront I know, again. I sure as hell hope they do because I, that was, I work on small projects and I need 100, you know, 100 ohm resistors. Yeah. I don't want to buy a 200 pack off Amazon when yeah. I need two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, I need yeah, an yeah. LED. I need an LED. And one that, LED. I want one LED. Luckily, you will find in many cities, you'll find an electronics store that will carry that kind of stuff. It's a mom and pop, but they're only open Monday through Friday. Yeah, it's like come on. Well, there's yeah. there's also like an auto shop that is in here in Denver that I take my car to to get like you know the general service, mm-hmm. and they're only open Monday through Friday. I'm like guys. Mm-hmm. You could make so much more business if you could be open Saturday and Sundays. Well, we're a family business. You know, we spend time with our families. I I'm like, that, yeah. that's fine. Hire a weekend crew. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, yeah, and, and that's the thing. If somebody wants to buy something on a Sunday, they'll go online. I'll just go online well, and they'll buy it, order it, get it that same day. In some I've cases. unfortunately had to move to a big chain auto care place when I want to get my oil changed because. I don't have time Monday through Friday to go take my car for two hours and sit there in their waiting room. Yeah, but you know what? I, I know the mechanics that have worked on my cars, and they're out, out here in Green Valley, and I'll stick with them. I, sure, I'll even I drive. Mean, and I, live, I don't even live in Green Valley, but I'll still drive there for it because they give you that personal service. That's the thing. You're going to have to balance that when it yeah, comes to shopping. I've never met the mechanic that works on my car, so I really don't have an affinity towards them. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't care. As long as you're Ford ASC certified... Sure, go ahead. Work on my car. Have you guys heard about iCar? iCar? Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that a show on Nickelodeon? <laughs> I think that's iCarly. <laughs> okay, uh, well, I, that's what I thought you were talking about. Uh, some great discussion Wait, hold points. on. Can we talk about why you know that, actually? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> iCarly. Some great points. Uh, would we got to take an, another break. I would love to hear from listeners, too. How do you do it? How do you shop local? Feel free to drop us a line, techguys at techtalkradio.com. We might even read your comments on on the air as well. I'm Andy Taylor. I'm Sean DeWeird. And I'm Justin. Let me find us on the web, techtalkradio.com. We'll be right back. And now, back to Tech Talk Radio. Welcome back to Tech Talk Radio. I'm Justin Lemmy. I'm Sean DeWeird. And I'm Andy Taylor. Okay, I got something non-technical I want to share. Uh-oh. I want to share with you guys. Um, Your latest you... Lifetime movie? Uh, no, 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 no. Actually, you know what? I... Oh, let me tell you real quick what I'm watching. Oh, come on. No, seriously. You, you had to go there. You got to. Oh. So you'll be happy. I switched. So, I, yeah, I once in a while watch uh, Lifetime. I'll watch Hallmark. Also, I'll watch ID Channel a lot. But I started watching History Channel because they have the best documentaries in the world. And I've been watching this one on how they made chicken nuggets. So if you were... Wait, look, are you... If you were looking... Are, for, you, are you partaking in the devil's lettuce? No, a no. Bit there? I, I swear, if you're looking for a documentary <laughs> on the creation of the chicken nugget, you got to watch History Channel. It's called uh, Foods That Made America. And it's just some great programs there. But I've, I found this... And I thought, this is so cool. 
that I wanted to share it with you. Lance Yulinoff, who's over at PC Mag, uh, shared this. And I thought, oh, you've got to be kidding me. It is a mini crate that you can put little SD cards in. All right? And it was shared on TikTok. Um, and then a I, mini crate? A mini crate. So you do mini crate for SD cards or look up uh, Storex Micro Crate. All right? And what you do is you put it on your desk. And if you were a mobile DJ at any point in your life, you'll know this is what you store your records in. But now you store your little mini SD cards in this thing. Uh, what was the other thing you searched for? I, I searched Storex. for mini crate. S-T-O-R-E-X. Uh, that's the company that makes these little mini crates. And if very non-technical, but if you're looking for something to put on your desk to put your SD cards oh, in. Oh, that's cool. Right? right? Yeah, that's cool. You can get a whole bunch of them. And uh, Lance shared the video on Twitter and said, I'll take 10 of them. And I just thought this was the coolest thing in the world. So I am going to order some of these, too. Well, there you go. Yeah. I like it. All right. Now, that's my non-technical. you got something technical. So let's technical. get back to business. All right. Yeah. What, yeah. Do, what do you got? Well, Justin, uh, you could talk about this because you you've been digging for one. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I, I I've got the um, Nvidia RTX uh, Nvidia Nvidia GeForce RTX 2080 Ti uh, graphics card for the computer, right? Well, I've been trying to upgrade to the 3000 series, but you just can't do it. Yeah. Um, but uh, now why why of, is that? Is it just supply and scalpers. demand? Scalpers. Scalpers are buying up all of them, and also Bitcoin miners are buying up everything. So between scalpers and Bitcoin miners, it's impossible to get yourself a, a 3000 series card. Um, however, uh, NVIDIA just announced, uh, let's see, was this May 31st right. of, this, uh, of this year? They announced they're going to be releasing the highly rumored RTX 3080 Ti and the RTX 3070 TI during the Computex 2021 keynote. So the RTX 30 Ti. So TI is kind of, um, I don't know, what would you say, Sean? Like a souped up version of the original? It's their luxury edition, if you will. A lux- like, there you oh. go. That's a good way of saying it. Luxury edition. Uh, so the RTX 3080 Ti is set to launch on June 3rd uh, for $1,199. That's and as the- much as a full computer. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but this <laughs> card is awesome. Right. And the RTX 3070 Ti is scheduled to release on June 10th for $599. Oh, cool. So the, the, here's the thing. You're still not going to be able to get your hands on them. Why not? Because scalpers. Scalpers. Oh, they haven't Bye. figured that out yet, how to how to stop nope. that? Nope. If you can learn how to be a bot maker and be a, just a general jerk a Mm-hmm. You can suck up a lot of these and resell. I don't. Them. I don't think I have to edit that. I think we can leave that I, in. I don't. Yeah. But that's a good perform. It's just a general jerk. A jerk a hole. You can a jerk a hole. You Dude, can gonna... suck up this. You can suck up the supply and then turn around and either well, resell them to people you know mm-hmm. or sell them online or put them on eBay. Well, think of it, retailers were like, well, what if we just require each person to have a different name, different credit card, different mailing address? Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, bot makers are like. Okay, that's easy. I'll just I'll just cycle through like a thousand different credit cards and names and stuff. And so yeah, I mean it's ridiculous. And not only that, but the shortage of chips because of COVID. Yeah, right now there's you know, a big most shortage. Of these, most of these chips are made in China. The, the 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 silicon chips that form kind of I guess the brains of the card, if you will. Right. There's a shortage of that. I mean, even auto manufacturers are saying we cannot manufacture any more cars. We don't have the computer chips available. So we're going to go into a pandemic of sorts for technology. Yeah. So I know they're announcing this, but good luck getting your hands on one. And uh, $1,100. So $1,100 worth versus the, you know, six lower than $600 one. What's really the difference? I mean, is there a performance difference? On oh, these? my gosh. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I had uh, the 1080 Ti, or no, yeah, the 1080 Ti, um, or no, actually, what did which I you, tell you? 1070. It was the 10, it was the 1070 Ti, which you 1070 told me. Ti, yeah. So I had a 1070 Ti. I went to a 2080 Ti, massive difference, and the 3080 Ti I'm expecting is also going to be a massive difference, uh, according to some different benchmarks that I've looked at. Yeah, it's a massive difference. Now, what will be the only bottleneck then in a system? Then it's going to be your CPU. That's it. Just the RAM, CPU. CPU, motherboard. So you get one of these things. It's like okay, think about this. It's like buying uh, it's like buying uh, a Porsche engine for your Honda Accord. 
No, no, this is. Just, I got a better. You got a better one. It's like okay. it's like buying a Pontiac Fiero and putting a Lamborghini Lamborghini body kit on it. Right. Oh, that'd be okay. one fast well, Fiero. <laughs> there you go. I've seen people that have actually done that. No, it is. So yeah, you buy one of these cards. You better have the top of the line PC to go around it. Yeah. You have to build your PC around this card. Right. So that's Ooh. that's gonna be your bottom. So line. you are gonna try though to get. I'm one. gonna try. I doubt I'm gonna get one. I mean, heck, I I paid eleven hundred dollars for my 2080 Ti on eBay. And how much so, would you let that go for? Uh, eleven hundred dollars. Oh, really? Because that's what they're going for. Is it really? Yeah, I could. I oh my could, gosh. Could, if Justin would have waited three months before he sold me his 1070 Ti, he could have gotten 800 bucks for it. Wow. Yeah, instead I sold it to you for what? 200 Because yeah. the cost went up. <laughs> yeah, we had, like a, we, had a, we had a listener reach out to us wanting to know, like, hey, how, how can I find a video card? My son wants one. What can you recommend? <laughs> and I said, I said, I don't, I don't know. And what is that? There was a website that you guys said. PC you Part Picker. To. PC Part Picker is one, but there's another one where you can f- get on a list to be notified when oh, it goes on sale. Uh, there's a bunch of different ones you can sign up for that scrape scrape various web services and say it'll say something like in stock and you'll get an alert for it's now in stock.net. No, you can find used decently used video cards on eBay and things like that. You're going to pay a little bit more than what you think you should for a used card, but that's or where the market is right now. If because you got you a friend named Justin, yeah. You know, if you got a friend named Justin, he'll sell you his card for heck of cheap. <laughs> we got to set up a shopping site on our. We'll sell our old tech. Here's what we'll sell it for. Yeah, all right. All right. Well, we got to take another quick break. We come back. We have more for you on Tech Talk Radio. So hang out. We'll be back. I'm Andy Taylor. I'm Sean DeWeer. And I'm Justin. Let me send us a tweet at Tech Talk Radio. We'll be right back. And now, back to Tech Talk Radio. Thanks for your help and keep up the good work. You got a great show. Welcome back to Tech Talk Radio. I'm Andy Taylor. I'm Sean DeWeer. And I'm Justin Lemmy. So this week, uh, Google Photos. Is, oh, my is gosh. The unlimited free storage is over. Yep. And, uh, you know, some people don't realize you get 15 gigabytes. Mm-hmm. All right. If you're not getting the unlimited, you, you don't want to pay extra for it. 15 gigabytes is actually pretty good. I mean, honestly. Right? Just because they're going from unlimited. But uh, these pictures nowadays... I mean, the pictures take up m- megabytes of data, so right. 15 gigabytes is not a lot of space anymore. So, is there is there a site that you guys recommend for people who you know want to? They take a lot of photos. They want to be able to store them. I love how Google Photos works because I take photos of stuff while I'm working. Like, oh, the button is in this position, or this is what I need, and then I can go back and look at it while I'm while I'm typing notes. I I, I honestly just I pay I pay the Google storage. I've got, I pay as well because it's just the easiest and the most reliable. Yeah, I've got uh, 200 gigabytes of storage, and mm-hmm. I think I'm using about 100 gigabytes right now of it. But I think I pay 2.99 a month. We have 200 between Caitlin and I, and we both have our phones automatically update our pictures. Yeah, it'll say, "Oh, you've taken thirty pictures since the last time you uploaded," and then it'll upload them to the album. Yep. Yeah, well, one other thing listeners can do if they if they are if they don't want to pay is they can take their photos. You get fifteen gigabytes. Go ahead and then you know offload that to your PC and delete them and just start all over. I yeah. think that's one thing you could do. But honestly, at two ninety nine a month, that is not well, that bad. See, the thing is, is my wife takes like seventeen photos of Eric every single day, and a lot of them are the same photo, just a little bit different angle. And I'm like, babe, you gotta delete the photos you don't want. Like we're paying <laughs> for this storage, and everything you're taking is getting backed up. You know? Yeah. But we we share our Google account, and what I do love about Google though is that from time to time, they'll send me this notification on my phone says, hey, check this out. And I'm like, I open it up and it's like, the, the, the title of the image or the title of the automatic album they've created is called How Fast They Grow Up. Oh, yeah. And it shows pictures of Eric from birth until now. And it's set to like this beautiful music in the background. And I'm like, gosh, darn it, Google. Why do you got to make, <laughs> why do you got to make me cry? Like, seriously, why do you got to make me cry? You know, like you realize that how fast time flies, but then it stops and makes you think about, you know, how fast people grow up. It's too fast sometimes. Google Photos is certainly worth it if you want to pay. One other thing I want to mention, Sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Uh, If you have Amazon devices, um, it's enabled, I believe, by default. So you open up your Amazon app for your Alexa. You can go into your settings 
and you can actually turn off Sidewalk. Now, what Sidewalk will do is if uh, the internet goes out uh, for somebody, they can actually then use the other uh, Alexa devices to connect with your neighbor or your neighbor's doorbell camera and use your internet or use a portion of that net uh, to kind of bridge a connection throughout the neighborhood. But a lot of privacy people are a little upset about that. But again, you can disable it, and it's very easy. Just But you have to use the Alexa app and go into settings and disable Hmm. it. Okay. All right? Made sure we wanted to get that in. That's it for this week's Tech Talk Radio. Great stuff on the show. I'm Andy Taylor. I'm Sean DeWeird. I'm Justin. Let me have yourselves a great week, and don't forget to visit us at techtalkradio.com. Bye-bye.